Hello everyone, this is Slyman. In today's video, I'm going to quickly show you how to get the proper back focus for imaging when you're using a Celestron f6.3 focal reducer for schmidt Cassegrain telescopes and a DSLR. So as I said, this is pretty quick, pretty easy, so let's jump right into it. So there's just two things you need to get to the required back focus when you're using a uh, Canon DSLR. You just need a, a T-ring, a 10 millimeter or 11 millimeter ring. This is just a Celestron T-ring and then a Celestron Schmidt Cassegrain T adapter. Now you specifically want this to be the Schmidt Cassegrain version because this gives you 50 millimeters of back focus which is exactly what you'll need as you'll see. Now the f6.3 focal reducer does require 105 millimeters of back focus. So what are you going to see if you don't get to that 105 millimeters? Well, in general, you're going to see out of focus stars, maybe some oblong stars at the edges of your images, and image defects, and you don't want any of that, right? Well, fortunately, the procedure to getting to 105 millimeters of back focus on a DSLR is really, really easy. So the majority of DSLRs on the market have a back focus of 45 millimeters built into them. So if you measure the distance from the imaging sensor to the phalange, you'll see it's 45 millimeters. Now the flange for new DSLR users is where lenses and other accessories attach to the camera. And the sensor is hidden behind this mirror. So if I pretend like I'm taking a picture, the mirror will flip up and you will see the sensor. So there it is, it's deep within the body of the camera. And as I mentioned, if you uh, were to measure the distance from the sensor to this flange, you would see it to be 45 millimeters on most DSLRs. So, we're starting right there at 45. Now take a T-ring and attach it to the camera. Now most T-rings are going to be 10 millimeters or 11 millimeters. It does vary by manufacturer, but don't worry, one millimeter really isn't gonna hurt anything. Then lastly, take a Schmidt Cassegrain specific T-adapter and thread that into the T-ring. And this is going to add 50 millimeters of back focus. So just like that, you are at the required 105 millimeters of back focus. You have the sensor back here, 45 millimeters to the flange, add a 10 millimeter T-ring and add a 50 millimeter T-adapter, and you are at 105 millimeters, pretty much that simple. And as I mentioned, if you happen to have an 11 millimeter ring and you are at 106 millimeters of back focus, don't worry about it. One millimeter certainly won't make a difference when you're imaging at 6.3 focal ratio. Now just thread on the Celestron focal reducer. Now we're ready for the camera. Thread that on. What's nice too is if you unthread this, you can change the orientation of your camera if you'd like. But now you're ready to image at f6.3, so you're gonna acquire data a lot faster at that focal ratio, and your images are gonna be a much wider field of view. Plus, now you have the proper 105 millimeters of back spacing from the rear of the focal reducer to your image sensor. You should be able to produce images that are nice and sharp. All right, so as you can see, it's pretty easy to get the proper back focus distance with the Celestron f6.3 reducer and a DSLR. If you're wondering how to do this with a CMOS or a CCD camera, I've also made a version of this video for that. So I hope you found this helpful. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Clear skies, and I hope you have a good one.